Wife of Akwaibom State Governor and Chairperson Akwaibom State's Drug Control Committee, Pastor Patience Eno, has charged principals and counselors of schools to prioritize the sensitization of students on drug and substance abuse to stem the tide and address challenges associated with it. Pastor Patience Eno gave the charge during an advocacy meeting organized for principals of schools in Eket's federal constituency held at the government secondary school Afareket, Eket's local government area of the state. Correspondent Mary Oyemichi tells us more. Pastor Patience Moino, represented by the Secretary of Kwaibom State Drug Control Committee, Mrs. Esther Ube, during the advocacy meeting, highlighted the long-term physical and mental health damage of drug abuse, emphasizing the urgent need to tackle substance abuse in schools. As educators and leaders, it is our responsibility to educate and empower our youth to make informed choices. Drug abuse, as we all know, has severe consequences, such as health problems due to addiction, overdose and long-term damage to physical and mental health, poor academic performance, school dropouts, suicidal thoughts, increase in crime rates, etc. Pastor Patience Eno advocated for the establishment of war against drug abuse clubs in schools to empower students with the knowledge and support needed to resist drug use foster a safer community and reduce the risk of long-term physical and mental health damage. Despite the gravity of this issue, there is hope. By joining hands with relevant stakeholders, we can make a difference. As school heads, I urge you to prioritize drug abuse sensitization and education in your schools. This can be achieved by providing accurate information and resources, encouraging open conversations with the students, Fostering a safe and supporting environment and collaborating with parents, community, and other relevant stakeholders. The principal of Government Secondary School, Afa Heket, Mr. Eseme Nyong, in his speech, thanked the wife of the governor for prioritizing the well being of students through the sensitization campaign, expressing hope that it will help curb disruptive behavior amongst youth and restore normalcy in their respective schools. We are all aware of the dangers of drug abuse in our society. I so thank God for the, our Excellency uh, Mrs. Uh, Pastor Mrs. Uman for organizing, for sponsoring this program. It's going to go a long way in helping us in schools to make sure we don't have restiveness again, autism, and other things. Other vices mostly is from substance abuse. The event featured demonstration on drug abuse, interactive sessions by participating principals, compound masters and counsellors, three from each of the schools in Eket's federal constituency. Mary Onyemichi, ADBN News.